Let me describe my fourth grade talent show to you in the only way that will make sense, by comparing it to a wedding. See, at a wedding, there's the bride and the groom who get attention just for being there. And at my fourth grade talent show, that bride and the groom was the fifth graders, because they were graduating. But see, at a wedding, if you are a maid of honor or a groomsman who can dance or who gives a great speech, you can steal a chunk of that bridegroom attention. <laughs> and at my talent show, if you were the dopest fourth grade performer, you could get a chunk of that fifth grade attention. So on the last day of school in 2002 at my small Jewish elementary school in Houston, Texas, I knew that I had to be the dopest fourth grade performer. But I had signed up to play violin for the show. I was off to a bad start. See, I had played violin when I was in third grade for the talent show and it was average. But since third grade, I had joined a group called the Gulf Coast Suzuki Fiddlers. <laughs> a fact that in my mind was dope. <laughs> now, let me describe my fourth grade teacher to you, Miss Levy. Miss Levy was a five foot three Jewish mother who drank iced tea from a styrofoam cup every day that she would leave stained with her lipstick. She taught me long division in math and what a vast deference was in sex ed in the same stern tone. <laughs> but more than anything, honestly, Miss Levy was so mean. <laughs> she loved saying no to fourth graders. And it was in her homeroom that I was warming up my Gulf Coast Suzuki fiddle music. <laughs> to my great alarm, my peers did not find it to be as dope as I had anticipated. Perhaps they just could not understand that rare breed of Texas flair and Japanese discipline. <laughs> if I was going to be the dopest fourth grade performer, I had a big yarmulke to fill. Luckily, my mom had let me listen to some cool music if I practiced the lame music. So one day when we were at a record store after violin practice, she said, Honey, if you play your Suzuki music every day and work very hard and can explain why these lyrics are explicit, I will let you get Country Grammar by Nelly. I practiced every day, but I didn't practice Suzuki music. I could play every single song from Country Grammar on my violin. And my favorite song was Ride With Me. So when I'm in Miss Levy's homeroom class and I'm messing around with Ride With Me, those Jews got crunk. I mean, one kid flipped the Connect Four while another one was popping bottles of Silly String. If I was gonna be the dopest fourth grade performer, I was gonna play Ride With Me by Nelly. There was just one problem. On my original talent show sign-up sheet, I had indicated that I was gonna play Gulf Coast Suzuki fiddle music. And Miss Levy was so mean. So when I approached her, asking to play Ride With Me by Nelly, as opposed to Matt Suey's Mosey by Cowboy Suzuki. I did so cautiously. <laughs> Miss Levy, do you think it would be okay if I played Ride With Me by Nelly? Because I think the class likes it a lot more and the original talent show sign-up sheet isn't all that important. Miss Levy heard my pitch took a long, slow sip from her iced tea, and said simply, no. <laughs> what the fuck, Miss Levy? <laughs> Why do you always say no? If I was gonna be the dopest fourth grade performer, 
which I was, I was not going to take no for an answer. So I told my classmates, if you want to go and take a ride with me, follow my instructions. I let them know what they needed to do when I got up to stage. We got to the all-purpose room. <sighs> my name was finally called to go on stage. I approached the stage with my heart pounding and my bow rosined. <laughs> and I go up to the director of the talent show and I ask her, ma'am, can I play Ride With Me by Nelly instead of Matsui's Mosey by Cowboy Suzuki? To which she said, sure. Uh-huh, yep, I was right, Miss Levy. Operation Must Be the Money was a go. Now, I must admit, I did not understand the vast majority of the lyrics to the song Ride With Me by Nelly when I was in fourth grade. For instance, when he says, and I can see you boo from way over there, I thought he said, I can see you boofing. I didn't know what smoke and L meant. And the phrase, fuck me good, suck me good, was perturbing. But more than anything, in the chorus, when they go, hey, must be the money, I thought they were saying, hey, must me the money. I thought must was a verb that meant to give. This is important to note. So I'm up there on stage. She said I could do it. My class is ready. I raise my violin to my chin and my bow to the sky. And I play my little Semitic heart out. <laughs> to which 17 Jewish fourth graders stand up and go, hey, must be the money. It was a hit. <laughs> the second dopest fourth grade performer were two guys who just played catch to, hey now, you're an all-star. That's all I did. I was that groomsman who gave the speech and did the dance. I got a chunk of that fifth grade attention. <sighs> but like every wedding, not everyone was happy. <laughs> Miss Levy. Oh, Miss Levy. After the show, she pulled me aside. She let me know that I was going to receive an S minus for conduct for that quarter. S meant satisfactory. And I usually got E's for excellent. She told me that it was going to be tough for me to get into middle school. And she let me know she would not forget this when I was a fifth grader. This was arguably the best day of the nine years of my life. I miss Levy was spending so much time to make me feel so bad. But do I hold a grudge? Honestly, no. And Miss Levy, if you're listening to this, I only have one thing to say. If you want to go and take a ride with me, I welcome you. If you want to go and take